Welcome, I'm Mrs. C, and this is Math to Find. Today, we're talking about how to factor out the coefficient in an algebraic expression. Let's get into it. Remember, factoring out is the same as dividing out. So when you are asked to factor out the coefficient, in essence, you are being asked to divide it out of the expression in order to be able to rewrite the expression as the product of the coefficient. And I understand if right now this is probably sounding a lot more challenging than it really is. Let's start with this expression on the left, 1 third b minus 1 third. We need to factor out the coefficient. Remember, the coefficient is the value being multiplied to the variable, which in this expression is 1 third. Now, what we want to do is divide it out from both terms. So we'll divide 1 third b by 1 third and negative 1 third by 1 third. We know that dividing 1 third out of 1 third b, the 1 thirds will cancel each other out, leaving the variable b. And the negative 1 third divided by 1 third will cancel out, and we are left with b minus 1. The last step is to place the coefficient 1 third outside of the parentheses. And now this expression has been rewritten in factored form. The coefficient 1 third times the quantity b minus 1. Let's move on to the expression on the right. 1 half x plus 3 halves or 3 over 2. We need to factor out the coefficient. Since the coefficient is 1 half, we'll divide each term by 1 half. First we see that these 1 halves cancel each other out, leaving the variable x but it's not so easy for the second term, 3 over 2. We need to divide 3 over 2 by 1 half. Remember, to divide a fraction by another fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor, which is the second fraction. So we'll multiply 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. Now we can see that these 2's cancel each other out, and then multiplying the numerators, 3 times 1 is 3, and then the denominators, 1 times 1 is 1. And we'll simplify 3 over 1 to just 3. After dividing both of these terms by the coefficient 1 half, we are left with x plus 3. And we'll bring down the coefficient, and that's it, we're done. Now let's try some expressions with integers and whole numbers. We'll start with 4h minus 3. The coefficient that needs to be factored out is 4. So we'll divide each term by 4. The 4's cancel each other out, leaving the variable h. And 3 divided by 4 is just 3 fourths. So we're left with h minus 3 fourths. We'll bring down the coefficient, and we're done. Moving on, we have the expression 5 over 2k minus 2. The coefficient is 5 over 2. So we need to divide each term by 5 over 2. The 5 over 2's cancel each other out, leaving the variable k. And we'll have to divide the second term, 2 over 1, by 5 over 2. We need to multiply by the reciprocal, and then multiplying the numerators, 2 times 2 is 4, and then the denominators, 1 times 5 is 5. So we are left with k minus 4 fifths. Again, we'll bring down the coefficient 5 over 2, and that is all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I hope all these examples helped you out. Until next time, keep math awesome.